Hi, am usually a reader and this will be my first post. Forgive me for any mistakes in posting since English is not my first language. Anyway, here it goes. I, 36M, have been with my GF, 32F, for more than a year now. My GIF has a girl best friend for almost 10 years whom they do not admit to me is a lesbian. When we started dating, she tried to keep our relationship a secret citing reasons such as she is not used to being in a relationship after being single for more than seven years and fears repercussion in work, thinking that she may be distracted since she is in a crucial point in her career. I understood her since we both are doctors in residency training, albeit in different hospitals. I myself is in the same predicament as hers in work, so I tried to understand her as much as I could and give her the benefit of the doubt. Until she got into her senior year in training which for me was supposed to be a lot more secure than her earlier years. Hence, I kept telling her how it hurts me when she tries to keep me a secret. Her best friend at this point is far away and similarly is in residency training as well. This girl best friend communicates with her way more than I do. She refuses to answer her calls or messages whenever we're together and claims that she does not want a phone to be between us. But she did show the red flags, her phone always down, secretive, and insists we keep our privacies to ourselves. I myself have been cheated on and divorced before, and it took me almost 10 years not trusting women. When my divorce got finalized, it was the time I decided that I will take the next girl I choose seriously. She is from a respected family of doctors and her best friend, as I now found out, is a closet lesbian. Nobody knows that there is something happening between them, but people not close to them have suspicions and assumptions. We eventually made our relationship public. Both our families love and respect each of us and even keeps asking when we would decide to get married. As a partner, my GF is almost perfect. We both have the same love languages, we spend almost all our free times together. Since the best friend is far away, we had already been planning and talking about a wedding, house, how many children we want. I have a daughter for my previous cheating ex-wife. She is the most important person in the world to me before I met my girlfriend. Now my daughter also loves her and wants to call her mommy. She is very caring, thoughtful, and we have very adventurous and amazing sex. I have tried with her things I have never tried with other girls. Don't get her wrong. She's not experienced. I was just quite adventurous and persuasive in bed. On almost every aspect in life, we are perfect for each other. My only problems are my ongoing custody battle with my ex. We have different religions, and the fact that she insists to keep our phones and social media accounts private from each other. Initially, I did not see a problem with the last one since I really wanted to trust her, but the signs became overwhelming that I tried to insist on it. My phone and all other things are always open to her, and she can even browse my Facebook daily. When I tried confronting her about it, she acted sad and hurt that I do not trust her. I never wanted to make her cry, especially if in the reason. I am usually a very logical and smart person, but when it comes to myself and her, I sort of lose my common sense. I gave her an ultimatum. I believe that if you are willing to share your body with a person, then a phone will never be a big deal. I told her on how open to each other our parents are and how my own parents can open each other's accounts and phones anytime. I wanted to build a marriage based on trust and being as one. No secrets kept to each other. I told her I will only ask her to marry me when the time comes that she is ready to completely be open with me. My girlfriend has had times she went on vacation to her best friend's place and stayed over at their house. And in one occasion, her best friend went here, and she asked permission if she could stay with her in her hotel room. I thought nothing of it at that time since I trusted her and her best friend since she is also a woman. Eventually, my suspicions really took over. While she was staying with me, she fell asleep while her iPad was open on Messenger. I immediately opened her messages with her best friend and took pictures of it to read when I am alone. Too bad I did not have more time but I got enough evidence that there is something going on between them. Many assumptions can be taken from their messages. They could be past lovers but seeing how third sex is frowned upon in our local area and she is a Christian girl, they kept their relationship under the guise of being best friends. Or maybe this best friend wanted her. She may have never been with her romantically but strung her along as a close friend.
Either way, it cannot be denied that they have seen each other naked and have stayed over with her best friend plenty of times during our relationship. This upcoming March, there is a Taylor Swift concert happening in Singapore, and she asked permission for me to go there with this best friend along with some other colleagues of her best friend. When she asked my permission, she told me that there is a person selling her extra ticket and if I would allow her to go there. I told her I was hurt since she was already planning this before even asking my permission. I just told her to tell me next time, since this is a different country you will be going to, and you will be spending quite a lot considering that we wanted to plan a wedding. I gave my permission and told her next time that I just want to be included in the planning and not be blindsided like this. She apologized and was very thrilled. I even kept reminding her to buy her tickets early as it could get expensive the closer the date gets. On the messages I read, I found that they had been planning this since last year and no mention of other people going but the two of them. The best friend will spend for the Arab that they will be staying at. After I scrolled through the messages I found, I no longer know what to do. There is a message as if she was trying to break up with her, but eventually thought of continuing and the best friend will even be her maid of honor. I personally believe that you can never love two people at the same time and that cheaters will always be cheaters. I don't know what to do at this point. I love and respect her family and the same goes with her and my family. I already have the dream engagement ring which I personally designed to every carrot and diamond and am still paying for in my credit card. I don't know how to tell her or how to proceed. Should I confront her and forgive her? Or should I break it up with her? I am quite sentimental myself, and as I said before, this is the first time after 10 years that I allowed myself to fall in love again. But I do not wish to be in another failed marriage. Hope some of you could enlighten me and what I could do. The girl best friend is the trans type who dresses and looks like a man so those of you who are thinking of a threesome is already ruled out since I do not have an inch of attraction to her best friend. Maybe I just need other people to tell me what I should do since there is no one I could talk this over without possibly destroying her or her family's reputation. Thanks a lot for any advices. Added for context on their messages. One message said after a video call, I wanted to tell you something but you already know that, in which my girlfriend responded, ah. Another conversation was video call and pictures sent to each other while she was in the bathroom in her undies, and the best friend even joked on how large her breasts were. Hell, she doesn't even do that to me. The rest of the messages involved acting hurt to each other for forgetting to call, and the best friend even says, I am hurt. I know that sometimes you don't mean it, but I do know sometimes you do mean it. For whatever reason, I still respect them. I just wish sometime you can still think on how I feel. But for some reason I cannot get angry at you. So I just get angry at myself. I just blame myself. Even if I know if I tell this to somebody, they will tell me that it isn't my fault and that I shouldn't get angry at myself. Another read after their attempt on breakup conversation. The best friend said, the only escape from you is death. My girlfriend guises this conversations to me saying that her best friend has a tendency for depression. One message read, If I choose to leave and try to not think about you, I do not know how many years it would take for me to be able to listen to a single song. Every occasion will never be the same. Every exciting thing in my job might make me sad because there is nobody I can share it with. Thanks to everyone who took the time to listen to today's stories. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share your thoughts on the events in the comments below. Take care.